So welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending January 21st, 2024. We're going to get into it here uh, with the headlines. Um, and I completely forgot to pull up the thing that I meant to say here. So let me do that here real quick while I'm scrolling. Plenty of new anime series announced. An Osamu Tezuka manga gets a live action update. Godzilla Minus One comes to theaters in black and white. And the Lucky Star and Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya casts team up for a live stage event. We'll get to that later on. But for now, let's get into the headlines. Um, new Monogatari anime. Is this surprising at this point? I don't know. Um, Monst the Monogatari series off and monster season are getting a new anime by Shaft. No news on the actual um, details of that. Um, whether it's going to be you know TV or OVA or whatever, but that is happening. Um, it is titled Monogatari Series Off and Monster Season. Um, so Off Season and Monster Season are two of the Monogatari books. Uh, Those are being gotcha. adapted into this, which implies you know longer running thing, but who knows? Um, so you have a, that this uh, key visual here. The tagline is "Youth continues into the past and the future." Dun, dun, dun. Exactly. Um, that's fun. A lot of announcements this week. Um, also, announcements yeah. that um, Failure Frame and Loner Life in Another World are both getting uh, animated in 2024. So this year, both Isekai light novels, basically Guy Isekai's gets worst skill ever, discovers its best skill ever. I, You know, I think this is a brand new niche and yeah, like a thing. I, I've never, never seen that. this before. Never, never, ever, ever. No, totally. Um, so it is kind of interesting to note that, you know, as much as everyone in the industry seems tired of Isekai, <laughs> it just doesn't stop keep making it. I mean, come on. It's, um, it's, it, it, they're just stringing us along. They're just like, oh, come on. You know, you want another one. <laughs> you know, you want another one. Come on. Yeah. Someone okay. must like it. Golly. Uh, speaking of, there's another Isekai. Interesting little twist here, though. Um, um, girl reincarnates as the daughter of like the hero and like the elf queen who married had this daughter who then has powers, and so the daughter is trying to protect her parents. So it's more like you know, child as Isekai doing stuff. Um, I'm assuming sort of Musuko Tenshi kind of a uh, whatever right. that was thing. So it's been kind of kind of cool. I, I, when I first saw this graphic, I, I swear I was like, "What is Paimon doing up here?" I know it's true. I, what is... I'm sorry. Thank you, Becca. Um, you know, uh, uh, so yes, uh, loser who gets his uh, who uh, finds out he has a thing. But what if he has an elf girl sidekick? Would that be new? But would that that would be totally new? I I, I totally wow! New. What what a twist! What a, what twist. a twist! Exactly. Um, so. I mean, the hope for this kind of thing is we get something that's at least a little um, cuter, lighter, upbeat. Right. It goes. Um, also getting an anime for the strongest magician in the Demon Lord's army um, was a human. Sorry. The strongest magician in the Demon Lord's army was a human. That's the title. And the premise is that the strongest magician in the Demon Lord's army was actually a human. Human. Again, we've haven't we seen this one? Yeah, I think we have. Um, and so a whole bunch of character designs posted, uh, which are all um, no offense, but very generic fantasy anime yeah. stuff, yeah. which is which is fun. So that's cool. Um, um, hopefully, that is kind of interesting. Um, also, getting a TV anime for Japan. Do we need to talk about like your work life balance here? Uh, <laughs> just asking. Um, a Smile in an Unbearable Workplace, which is about a, a woman who uh, draws shoujo manga uh, with the help of her editor and such. So uh, getting an adaptation of that. Um, God, you know, uh, you know. I, thankfully, it's on the subject that we all can enjoy. So can, can you imagine yeah. if someone did, did a manga of A Smile in an Unbearable Workplace and it's just like an office it's like stock train and everyone's just like, oh God, just kill me. I, you know, just just total depression. Total depression. Yeah. This at least looks a little little, little bit upbeat. A little bit upbeat. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
Well, and the question, of course, is what do you mean by unbearable? Um, because what I'm hoping is um, um, it means more just kind of the uh, the emotional pressure of trying to right. make a good manga and so forth as opposed to working you know 120 hours a week but i yeah. suspect <laughs> well remember remember what was it uh karomi's uh, karomi animation runner remember oh yeah animation runner yeah, karomi. yeah yeah animation runner karomi yeah that one was like i watched that and i giggled and everything because it was funny but there's mm. that undertone of just like you gotta go you gotta go because it starts with <laughs> like the guy with the ulcer going haha good luck oh god i'm dying <laughs> you know <laughs> Yeah, for those who haven't seen, there's an OVA set at an anime studio where it uh, uh, woman shows up for the first day of the office. She's given the tour, and the guy literally like falls over from an ulcer and is carted away in an ambulance. An ambulance. You know, and, and, and he's literally just... on the stretcher going, "You can do it." Oh, God. <laughs> so, uh, so we'll see. But like you said, it looks a little more, a uh, little more upbeat. Um, yes, the manga started as a one shot in 2019, started serialization. Uh, later that year so that's fun also getting an adaptation of plus sized elf hello ah okay um well. and uh, basically this is a uh, set at a uh, 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 massage parlor um and a, a massage therapist who gets a uh, this elf girl who is uh, well plus sized um and uh, apparently she left her world, but loves junk food in this one. And so and, uh, the question is, what's going to happen? And she, uh, apparently the idea is she does want to lose weight. So it's a little bit like uh, how heavy are those dumb dumbbells you lift? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So she is, you know, th there's going to be sort of an encouragement for her to, to, to work out in some way, shape or form or to lose some of the weight. Um, not sure about that. I've, I've seen, um, like this has popped up my, re my recommendations for some reason on... Uh, on Kindle, but I haven't like actually read the manga, so I'm not sure like what tone what? it takes with weight loss and all that. I just don't yeah, know. yeah. I I can I can attest to the fact that you know sometimes seeing those fries there and uh, mm. just like there there have been days where I'm just like going, oh, God, I just I don't <laughs> want broccoli. I just want the I want the French fries. Exactly. Um, I can. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm. Mm. Um, <laughs> For me, it's cheeseburgers for some reason. Like Ooh. in the evenings, I just want a cheeseburger. I don't know why. Yeah. I mean, I know why. Oh, yes. Feed your face. Feed my face. Um, and then what is she holding in her right hand? It is, looks is like it a, a bow. bow? I don't, yes, yeah. it is a bow. Yes. Huh. Okay. Um, so that she can she... slay the French fry monster <laughs> to make French fries. I had this sudden image that, you know, um, uh, when she's not there, like the way she lives is by like hunting deer, oh, um, yeah. like in our world. It's like, uh, uh, okay, I guess. Oh my God. What if she gets hangry? Oh, oh yeah. Man. There we go. Please put the bow down, please. And in fairness, I know we're, we're, we're talking to someone uh, quite a bit about this. It would be kind of interesting if this does take on the subject that, you know, like fast food, it does really suck yeah. you in and you know the, the whole thing that you would be a lot easier to eat healthily if you weren't surrounded by fat and sugar all the time <laughs> i think if they just gave us a cup of this is what it actually is and you just go uh, oh god okay okay the broccoli's fine give me the broccoli please i love those things where they they pull out you know people lose weight and they bring out like that amount oh, of yes. butter yeah, yeah butter, butter yes <laughs> and you're just like oh god <laughs> They did that at Weight Watchers. I, I, every time they did that, it's just like, see what this is? I'm like going, uh, that, that's like showing a smoker a smoker's lung. Oh, I don't <laughs> want, I, no. Uh, no, exactly, Kenimoto. Fat, sugar, and salt in the three cornerstones of modern cuisine. There's a great, uh, there's a Netflix series. Um, uh, it's called Food Cart, literally. Um, no, it's not that. Um, but it's got the guy who directed Iron Man and Swingers, I think. Uh, not swingers. Um, oh, Favreau. Favreau, John Favreau. John Favreau, and yes. It's him and a chef, and they're going around with, with various folks and you know, meeting various chefs. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't watched that yet. One. Yeah, there's a, a scene where there was somebody, some chef, and the co host says, leans in and says, Can we just be honest? Do you just use about 
twice as much salt and three times as much butter as a person would at home. He's like, yeah, but that's kind of the secret of <laughs> restaurant oh, cooking I... right there. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think that is that is kind of a thing. Um, and kind of, I think Lane's fine. So um, uh, that's all, all love Lane. All love Lane. Uh, so those are the headlines. Uh, we're going to talk more about uh, Haruhi, Lucky Star, Tezuka Shinshin, Gumi Manga, and the subs and dubs for Ninja Kamui um, in the full-length version of this. But for now, let's talk about the data. Well, let's look at the data. The data. Do do do. 